Who says we can't RGB all the things? That's smarts. I'm okay. Hi guys, welcome to Big Life Reviews, Amazon Vine Edition. I'm Little J. One of the most common pieces of advice you'll see and hear on websites, listicles, videos, and so forth about streaming and posting videos online is that sound is more important than video. Viewers can get over poor picture quality, but they won't watch if they can't hear or understand you. At least that's what I've been told and it makes sense to me. Uh, now, my son is a prodigy at Valorant. He competes in online tournaments and he streams on most weekends. He's only 13, so he's a little shy for a camera, uh, but the microphone is a must for him. Um, he's been using a Corsair Void Elite headset, like this one, except that his is wired and, and this one is wireless. Um, I bought it for him because the sound quality is amazing the rgb on the sides is cool the swiveling boom mic is handy and the microphone sounds pretty darn good for a headset boom mic um he has had a few complaints on his stream that he's hard to hear and and the mic has the expected limitations there's no monitor for him to know when he's too low uh there's no hardware gain adjustment to fiddle with besides the software you know the software adjustment in obs um, yeah, these are pretty common bog standard microphone issues. Um, I spotted this, forgive the pronunciation, Vegu. I don't know how they intended to pronounce that, so I'm going to call it Vegu. I spotted this Vegu desk mic on my Vine page and grabbed it for him. Uh, let's get it unboxed and let's see what we have. I have a little bit of documentation. Typically thin, but it looks like the English is pretty well written and explains what you need, so we can't complain about it. The microphone itself, nicely packaged. Uh, pretty cool looking and feeling. Nice, uh, nice chunky feel to it in the hands. USB, no XLR, it's not exactly professional, but it's uh, hopefully better than the one in his headset. Um, it does have a monitoring jack and volume control for the monitoring as well as a gain here for the microphone. Let's see what else we have. We have a shock mount, which is cool. And what looks like a tiny little tripod. Which will be handy for setting it up on a desk. Yep, pretty neat. And there's no graduations, it's infinitely adjustable, which is kind of what you'd expect. And a wing nut for tightening it once you've got it adjusted. Get this guy set in. And I don't know if you can hear it. Kids are upstairs yelling at each other, <laughs> including the one who'll be using this. When he streams. Not bad. And a fairly cheap looking USB cable. I would hope adequate for the job though. You see we have USB-C and USB-A. And actually USB-3 converter of USB-A to USB-C, but it's a USB-2 microphone. So that's a nice touch to have that USB 3.0 converter if you have another use for it. And oh yeah, that cable's a decent length. And it uses a B type connection. I don't see any kind of looms or clips for routing the wire, but I think that's a pretty small thing. And there we have it. Pretty cool. Well, let's do some audio tests and then we'll hook it up to Zane's computer and he and I'll play a game of Valorant. We'll see how he sounds.
Okay, let's do some comparisons. Uh, objectively testing audio equipment is nearly impossible because everybody's ear, ears are different, and equipment is always different from one device to another and, and so forth. Uh, you know, the, the new LNG Labs is working on really cool new quantifiable tests, but they, they, they openly admit that sound quality is extremely subjective. You may not be able to tell much from this comparison depending on the device you're watching and on your own ears. Uh, but, you know, this is a subjective comparison. So, uh, here we go. Corsair Void Elite. My lavalier that I've been talking to you on. And the Vegu. Corsair. Lavalier. Vegu. Corsair, Lavalier, Vegu. He and I also played a round of Valorant with me on this Corsair headset and him on the Vegu. We are cued. Say hi, Zane. I want to hear you. The ostrich's eye is bigger than its brain. <laughs> I don't know if that's true or not. I've heard that my whole life too, and I'm not quite sure if it is. Uh, our whole team is locked, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, we have a Viper. Now I kind of wish I had played Phoenix. Oh, well. And it's an unrated match anyway. Nah, you're fine. You're going to be perfect. 60 ping is not really that bad. Oh, she, you didn't let him use that as cover, so he said broken. <laughs> his keyboard's broken. Keyboard, oh, his keyboard and mouse are broken. Nah, you're fine. You still got this. You're fine. Yeah. Broken keyboard and mouse, huh? Yeah. 4K. terrible. Hmm? 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 10 FPS, huh? 10 FPS, huh? <laughs> Come here. Come here. Oh, I, you wanted to pin her in. I thought you wanted me to get out of her way. I was like, I'm not blocking her. <laughs> you were. And we wanted you to stay like that. Did they seriously go A again? Uh-huh. To my ears, the sound quality of the Vegu is reasonable. If not angling towards really good. Uh, it's listed as a cardioid mic, but you can hear that it picks up a lot of ambient sounds. Um, it's better than the boom mic, and it sounds as good as, if not better, than my wired lavalier. It's no professional XLR gear, but I like it for the price. Uh, the RGB is cool for a gaming setup, but not adjustable, so you'd have to live with unicorn puke colors. Um, could you tell the difference between them? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Um, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so that you know when I release new videos. And remember, life is a gift, so make it big.